So baseball's kind of like wrapping up. We got the World Series going on, the mm -hmm. College World Series. Uh, baseball players, of course, can be known for their quirkiness. And one college player is getting a lot of attention right now. Okay, so um, Stephen Shock from UVA is getting more than just the fans' attention by his big personality. His post-game interview has now gone viral, making it all the way to like Australia. Okay, like he did an interview with like a radio show in Australia mm -hmm. because he's so interesting. Okay. So it's about him joking around about throwing the game to cash in on Dippin' Dots. Hmm. So, Dippin' Dots are pretty good. Dip, <laughs> that's what he said. <laughs> so Steven said a fan from the opposing team made the offer, like, hey, throw the game. And then he realized that if he actually wins the next two games, then he'll be able to buy his own Dippin' Dots and be a winner. So the fan was like... Thinking smarter, not harder. Yes, yes. not the immediate future, <laughs> the long-term future, long-term goal. So anyways, he's like, this fan's like, hey, throw the game and I'll buy you Dippin' Dots. So a couple days later, his tweet um, right here of him holding two bags of Dippin' Dots is now trending. And he captioned it saying, follow your dreams, kids. Thank you, Dippin' Dots and Scott Fisher, CEO. Never lose sight of your... Goal. I know the whole team <laughs> is loving him so the whole team got it just because of his very interesting like most people who do post game interviews they're like oh yeah it was like really hard in the second inning and I was trying to blah 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 you know yeah no well he, I mean I think it's something interesting right yeah you know and it makes it memorable so mm -hmm. um kudos for him for freshening up that interview oh I know yeah. and he's just um and and the commentators were like laughing hysterically the whole time and I was like <laughs> of course this kid okay <laughs> and there's sports for dogs right they compete yeah. some are calling this dog we're about to show you a fancy version of a guinea pig his name is wasabi <laughs> if you watched our noon show yesterday you may remember him he is a beautiful this three-year-old fur baby took home top dog honors Sunday night during the Westminster Best in Show. He used, he's used to the attention after winning the Big American Kennel Club National Championship in 2019. So, yes, he is he, very high maintenance. You he, can even see it in his face. He does look like a guinea pig. I totally see this now. Oh, I don't see the guinea pig. Oh, look at how it <laughs> just blows dog. in the wind. Oh, my gosh. So cute. Well, um, we are told that Wasabi celebrated the win with a filet mignon. Oh, my goodness. Wasabi lives a way better life than both of us. And that's okay. Somebody does his hair. I mean, Somebody feeds he him does filet mignon. work. He wins all these <laughs> awards and all that. He deserves it. I mean, it's not go easy wasabi. being cute, right? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at him go. <laughs> all right. So, you know, this dog's eating filet mignons and people are over here eating cicadas. What uh, is wrong with America? I okay. don't understand. <laughs> Tell them the story because I want them to hear this. Okay. okay. So an Ohio restaurant's latest creation is a cicada pizza. Ooh. Okay. Because that's what we need more of. Uh, the Pizza Bandit in Dayton, Ohio posted these pictures to social media on Sunday showing off its new spicy Thai cicada pie. Ugh. The restaurant said the insects were locally forged before being blanched and sauteed. And then they baked those bugs wings into the crust, Megan. I can't. That oh, like disgusting. the picture is too much. I guess because there's so many, it's like, what do you do with them? But you could just throw them away. It's not for sale, but if you're brave, you can try it.